All right, hey, 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 this is Greg uh, with ABS Inc. and the Simplest Biz Ever, the Simplest Biz Ever.com. Listen, let me give you a little backstory. Today is, what's today's day? Today is the 30th of December, 2020. And I got a voice message last night on my office number because I get them all the time now. My, my, my videos are, are trending, I suppose. I don't, I don't know what that means. But anyway, my videos are trending, I suppose. And um, I got this message from this guy last night named Kwame. And for some reason, his message kept getting dropped off. And um, hang on, let me, let me admit my guy, EJ. Hang on, EJ's connecting. EJ Coleman. Good morning, brother. <laughs> okay, now hold on, EJ, and I know you'll get going, but I'm I'm setting up this video because I want you to I want you to listen to this. I want that's why I wanted to bring as many team members as could come in right now. But um, let me mute you because I know you'll get excited, and start shouting like you in church. Hold on a second. All right, so um, so let me let me get let me keep moving. I got a voice message from Kwame last night on my business line. His voice message was very impactful. His interview was great. And you guys, if you've watched my videos, you know what I mean, right? So like and subscribe, comment if you want to, but if you like my videos, you already know when somebody calls me, they're interviewing. When they call me the first time, they're interviewing, right? Because they're interviewing for a business job where they have to call people. And if you don't know how to talk on the phone, I mean, you just got you got issues, and I got and you need to go and learn. On the last video, I showed you, you know, who you need to go look at on YouTube to learn how to sell on the phone, right? If you don't know already, I can teach you. That's easy, right? I can't teach you English though. You have to have already gone through all of that. But with that said, I talked to Kwame last night. I talked to him. I heard his message last night. Got up this morning and said, I can't wait to get up. I'm gonna call his brother. Got up, started doing some stuff. Uh, got up late, actually. Started doing some stuff because I went to bed late. I was just, I was just in my spirit all night last night. And um, this is my first cup of coffee. And um, yeah, so I get up and I call, and he starts telling me his story. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, just stop talking, because uh, I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna be able to repeat this. I need you to tell me the story yourself so that this not only can impact the team that's on here right now, Blue and EJ and Tim, but it will impact the world. Whoever watches this will know, not only can you do this business and make more money than you ever made in your life, it's gonna be a story that will allow you to, uh, oh, oh, Q is in it too. It's a story that will allow you to change your life if you choose it, right? If you choose Yo. it, right? There's my guy, Quentin. What's up, Q? What's up, big dog? Oh, How man. Feeling, man. Oh, man. I'm feeling great this day, man. I want you to listen to this. I hope everybody that's on here live with me, I hope your, your, your spirit and your soul is impacted by this conversation. I'm going to mute you for a second, Q. Right now, I'm going to bring on... Kwame, and uh, Kwame, um, I want you to unmute. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Kwame Callum. That's how you pronounce your last name, right? Callum or Callum? Callum, yes, sir. Callum. Okay. Kwame, start from the beginning. What you were telling me when you first called me this morning, and I, so everybody on the call can hear your story and everybody who watches this video can hear your story. Start from the very beginning because you started out talking business because you were business people, right? But then yes, said, I'm going to keep it a hundred. I'm going to keep it a buck. And what well, you didn't say that, but you said, I'm going to keep it real. And you started telling me your story starting from 2019. Start over. Start, start with that right now. Ooh, that's a lot. Let's uh, go. I got time, bro. I got time. Well, like I told you with 2019, it was a, uh, it was a bad year. It, 2019 was my rock bottom, but 2020 decided to top it for me. So it was already really bad. I started, I left 2019 homeless. I started 2020 on uh, basement. 
And so uh, it was a very, it was depressing. It was, an, it was more annoying than anything because as a man, you know, you want to be able to take care of yourself and take care of your wife. And I can't, I, at this point, I can't do that. It pissed me off. So Absolutely. I went out to find other things. I was, <laughs> I had a little, little hoopty car that I had to fix, YouTube fix. I fixed it, but I YouTube fixed it. <laughs> All right. And uh, I got to work and I did a little Uber Eats and um, DoorDash to get some extra money. And then I got, uh, uh, temp jobs from February all up until three weeks ago was, was I was just in warehouses all over the place. And uh, during this whole year, I started at my uh, friend's couch and now I'm in a nice apartment with me and my wife. So right now I'm just trying to go and keep what I got and go to the next level. But it was hard. And then now I don't have that job anymore because it was a temp job. So now I got to find something else to eat with. I can't work for somebody else because you still live from check to check. I know was I was raised from my parents. My mom was an intellectual hustler. My dad is a, you know, the hard labor hustler. He's a contractor. So I know how to work with my hands. I know how to talk to people. I like talking to people because otherwise your day is going to be boring. Um, I was an Air Force reservist. So I, I like structure. I like organizations. I like a mission to go and achieve. So I was just praying for something. I saw JT's Hustles video. So I was like, okay, the independent courier thing I can do. The next level is the pallet business when I get to that $2,000. I just save a little and I put a little hundred on the side here, there, blah, blah, blah. And then I saw your video and I was like, I can't pass it up. Bam! This, I know, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm a, I'm a spiritual person. So when I pray about something, when I'm stressed out, for me, God answers in a different way. He puts it in my face and it's up to me to take it. And this year I've missed three opportunities to make some good money just because I was overanalyzing. I had analysis paralysis, what somebody said one time. And I'm not going to miss this opportunity again to take myself to the next level, to take care of my family. So I, I, uh, <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> it makes sense. I saw JT's Hustle video. I saw... Uh, I saw, uh, what you call it, uh, John's videos. Um, it makes sense. I just didn't have the information to do the brokering part because I want to start with the brokering part. Then I want to go to the, the pallet part because what else am I going to do in my free time besides do business? Exactly. So whatever you need me to do, I got my wife here. I got my dad here. We all business people. She already, she, my mother speaks Convers she's conversationally fluent in Spanish. So if you need something in a, in a whoa, South American whoa, country. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the phone. Hold the phone up in this piece. Check it out. I just said. I know. I know. I saw that video. <laughs> and then I saw the other video. He was talking about the dude contacting Nigeria. Here's the funny thing. Remember I told you my mother. Here's how. Okay. Here's how I work. When there's a situation, I am more. Uh. And provisionally adept. So, like, I'll take what I have and make it work regardless of the tools. So, if, if I don't have... <laughs> and just for everybody... Hold, hold one second. Hold on. For everybody... Let me let me, let me mute you for one second. For everybody who didn't uh, uh, catch that, improvisionally adept means he know how to work on the fly. <laughs> That's basically what he was saying to y'all. If you didn't catch it... <laughs> If you didn't know what he meant, that means improvisation. It comes from the root word improvisation, which comes from the word improv, which comes from working on the fly, right? Know how to make a dollar out of 15 cents. That's basically what he just said to you. So if you didn't catch it, I want to make sure you got that. And <laughs> all right, all right, I'll mute. <laughs> uh, and so, and all my parents' customers love him because. I don't know why you can ask them. I have no idea why I, all I do is provide a service. I'm always been good at finding out what people need and giving it to them. Uh, and I enjoy it. I like being the guy behind the scenes that make things happen. I enjoy that. I don't like spotlight, but if you need something done, I'll do it for you. But, uh, my mother, it, it, she, she went to SCAD for, uh, 
a master's of film in television. That was her dream. Uh, I helped her through making her films just because she had nobody else. So I found a way to do that. But she ended up meeting a lot of people out there in Nigeria. She has friends in Nigeria. I saw the other videos talking about the Nigerian brother. I was like, oh, oh, and she wants to go to Nigeria next year. So I was like, oh, we can make this happen. I just need to call this guy right here. We can <laughs> Right. So I just need the information to know how to, to put things together and I and how I'll put it together. I call everybody. I got time to call people all day right now. Okay, check this out. Everybody who's watching this right now, first of all, if you don't feel like crying, there's something wrong with your soul. And and second of all, you got it, bro. You're in the right place. You're in the right place at the right time, and, and you ain't got to do no improvisational uh, activities. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everything you do from this point on is going to be so easy. You're not going to even, you're going to be like, it's no way it could be this easy. And I'm going to be like, yeah, it really is. <laughs> so, so, and you watch the video. See, what people don't get with this, John Wilker is a friggin' genius. When he put this together, because again, John didn't need to do this. He got to kill it himself. It, John making, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna talk into his pocket. No, 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 John no. making gangs of money, man. I can just imagine, just when you told me one deal, and he'd been doing it for 22 years? 22 years. If he did a deal a day for 22 years. Yeah. <laughs> a week. A week, exactly. So again, you know that's the way it is. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute you quick uh, and uh, make sure Jacqueline get herself together because I wanna I wanna hear her her side of this in a second too, but I wanna I wanna talk to Blue for a second, and um, and 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 let Blue give you a little piece of his insight how he and Q got in this game. I'm gonna unmute Q at the same time. I want Q and Blue. Cause they're, they're the two brothers from Chicago. That's my Chicago mafia. They're gonna pull it together. Let them um, unmute yourself, Blue. All right. In the meantime, I'm gonna open up to uh, EJ. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go, Blue. my bad. I'm, I'm back. I'm back. You was looking for me, Greg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want I want you to to give Kwame just a little t touch of your experience and how you got involved and how you and you and Q got involved. Uh, yeah, so pretty much, bro, um, we was just uh, definitely watching the JT Hustle videos, and then that led us to John Wilker's page and, you know, just the other suggested YouTube videos that be popping up as well. Me and my guy, Q, we just scrolling through them, and some, uh, either you put your number up or somebody had your card or something like that, and we like, you know what, let's just call it. All, everybody that put their number up for a card or whatever, we gave them a call just to get some more info and see what's going. See yeah, that was a John video. That was a John video. John made a video about his students, and I had just put my card on on the Facebook private group, and it had my number on it. So you looked at the number on the video that was on a card. It wasn't like I posted my my number up anywhere. You just yeah. whoa, whoa, pause that. <laughs> he called me. <laughs> so yeah. That was dope. Yeah, that's what it was. And then just with that being said, we know like a lot of people ain't gonna take action when it's out there like that. So we um we like shit. Only thing is we could get some advice or they not go talk to us. That's the only way it's gonna work. You know what I'm saying? So it was right. a win win from the jump. So once we talked to you, um you gave us the rundown and then out the gate, bro, you um you like minded like us, um, African American like us as well. So that's another plus. And then you came out the gate for one talking 50-50. That alone set you apart right there. And like when I talked to Q about it, we had our talk, see what we gonna do moving forward. It was a no-brainer. Yeah, well, see, here's another thing too, guys. I want everybody to understand who's watching this video. What what Blue just said was basically the 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 motto of my life, and it's always this, what's the worst case scenario? I'm gonna try to call this dude. I called John. Soon as I found out about this program, his brother called me for an for, um, interview, because they do, back then they were doing interviews 
to find out where your situation was, how you can, you know, get it together. And I said, listen, you tell your brother right now, because he said, you know, my brother's a musician. He's a he's an accomplished keyboard player and singer. And that's all oh, it's on. So I got I found his number, got him on the phone. And then I said to myself, I'm going to reach out. The worst case scenario is he say, I'm busy. I ain't got time. I'll talk to you when you're making 100 grand a year or or we actually have a conversation. Well, the moment we started having conversations, I knew this was going to be my place to be because when you see something this simple, when they say it's the simplest biz, it's the simplest biz ever, period. And, and sometimes when something is that simple, we have a tendency to overthink it. We have a tendency to try to find uh, external pieces that we think are there when they're not. This is very simple, folks. Wood with nails in it. Now, that's just one piece. That's just one of the uh, logistic supply items that we work with. But wooden nails, wooden nails put together making pallets, that is a multi-billion dollar business. Right now, in 2020, Two billion pallets are in circulation. In 2021, it's going to be two billion five hundred million, an additional five hundred million pallets circulating around the world right now. Why? Because the United States of America is on lockdown. Everybody's buying stuff online, and when you buy stuff online, that means that the distributors have to build more stuff. They have to buy more stuff. So that alone creates more boxes. More boxes create more pallets, <laughs> okay? It's just that simple, guys. This business is invisible, but it's the most lucrative business I've ever seen in my life. Right now, I'm gonna bring my guy, EJ. EJ, come in, man. Tell them, tell them your story so they can know where you sit. Good morning, can anybody hear me? Yeah. <clears throat> Well, brother, you know me. Uh, it's just um, it, I've got some details, you know. I know. Been driving for 22 years. Been driving with NASCAR for the last nine years up until 2020 or 2019. They let me go in December. Went to work for another job out of Wisconsin. <clears throat> COVID shut that down in June. And here I am. Um, I am out back out in a truck, not making nowhere near what I was making with the other company before COVID. Um, so, uh, me and, um, Greg, uh, we go back a couple years and, uh, we always knew that we had something going on together one way or another. We was going to be working together with something somehow or something. We, we didn't know what it was. We had no idea. We piddled with a tossed around a couple ideas. And when he brought this to me, I'm like, how can I get on? And <laughs> he, he said it, uh, just do this, uh, do, do a couple of, uh, emails, send me some emails back and it was done. But I'm telling y'all people, if y'all cannot see the pro the, if y'all can't see the, the, this business being your way of getting out of the living paycheck to paycheck to paycheck to paycheck where you can go ahead and just i've got a vision right now uh, bro brother i just gotta go i i i i've just gotta say this i've got a vision right now there is so many people and yes i am on tiktok but listen i'm trying to help right now a couple of people one try to get a pair of glasses i mean a freaking pair of glasses a 380 dollars pair of glasses i'm i'm auctioning off a jersey so that she can get some glasses me and another guy's also <clears throat> auctioning off a couple more jerseys so that a lady in our family can get her car out of the shop how much more could I, I mean, my mindset is I'm not going to have to auction off a freaking jersey. I give jerseys away. Right. I'm going to be able to help people. And, 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 and that's what I'm going to do. I promise you that. I PJ, promise you, you that. You say you auction. Do you have a website that they can go to? Because I'll put it on this video. Anybody watching, if they want to buy, buy an auction or bid on your jerseys, they can go to. What's your website? 
I, I, there ain't no website. I'm sorry. There, it's where I'm just going to do it live on TikTok. That's okay. All, it is. all right. Well, what's your TikTok I'm, handle? What's your TikTok handle? It is uh, Night Rider, N I G H T R I D E R underscore 75. Okay. Got it. I'm going to put it on the screen so everybody will see that. Night Rider, Night underscore, Rider underscore 75. Knight Rider underscore 75, folks, go on TikTok. But, okay. but back to this business, if yeah. y'all can't see this, y'all can't see the forest for the trees because it is right there laid out in front of you. Brother Greg has absolutely done a phenomenal job in bringing and handpicking his team. And I am so glad, brothers. <laughs> Love you to death, man, that you picked me. You picked me, man. And I really appreciate it, brother. Well, hey, EJ. Again, we've been we've been we've been messing around with business after business. You show me something, I show you something. We've been doing that for a minute, right? Because we just refuse to to let people hold us down. Now, with that said, when Kwame called me this morning and told me his story, I was like, dude, I need I can't waste this opportunity, right? Anybody watching these videos. Is going to watch this and whether they join the business, whether they join with me, whether they buy the, the program at uh, the simplest biz ever.com or whether they go, you know, drive, do something that JT Hustle said, do, you know, medical courier, whatever. This video is not designed for you to work for me or work with me because nobody works for me. This video is not designed for you to work with me. This video is designed for you to work with your brain and your heart and your soul and your spirit to figure out how do I make 2021 make 2020 look like a bad dream. You woke up from the dream. I'm like, oh, my, I thought that was going to be real forever. Nope. It was real for 365 one half days, period. It'll be over in two days. Kick it. Keep it moving. Because that's what's happening, folks. One thing I know for a fact, if you live in the United States of America, I can't speak for other countries. I've been around the world twice, but I can't speak for other countries and how they do things. But here's what I know how they do here. They're about making money at all costs. They're about making money in this country. So if you live in the United States or you have access to the United States, because everybody has access to everything now, just like Kwame was saying, his mom speaks Spanish, right? I can Man, he don't know what, <laughs> what he looking for. I'm trying to tell you. His whole family get ready to get paid. He don't even know it yet, Greg. That's the crazy part. He don't even know. <laughs> so Just that alone, bro, you go get business, bro. Yeah, absolutely. And you speak Nigerian? Come on, man. Come on now. Because everywhere in the world, ladies and gentlemen, where you got people sitting in a room in their house, drinking coffee, using little pot holders or whatever the hell you got a, a, a mouse for your computer. If they got stuff like that in their presence, there's some pallets moving in and out of wherever they are. That's just the truth. It's totally invisible. And it's the biggest business opportunity on planet earth. I don't care what you're doing. It's got way more risk than this has. Cause the only risk you got in this business, I'm gonna show you what the risk is here. Where is, oh. The risk is you don't pick up your phone. That's your risk. Hey, that, Greg, real quick. Yeah. Like you said, bro, talking to these people is like, it's just average everyday people. It's not like you talking to corporate people or people that stuck up, bro. These people actually are sitting down and talk to you. And it's not that many people that come in there asking them about pallets. So they willing to talk and just bring on the conversation, bro. Like me and Q been out there. You already know. Last week, just, <laughs> yeah. We like, bro, we finna go talk to some people, bro. We ain't, ain't finna sit around. So hold on. Let me just hold on. Let me let <laughs> everybody in the business with me right now. I sent you guys a pack of videos to watch as training, right? Because I don't want to give you no script and make you try to figure out how to say something exactly like I say it. I want you to watch the video, watch how I do it. And then if you mold it to your personality, mold it to your speed, mold it to your tempo, right? Now, with that said, at the very beginning, I was going to put together, go on my, my list of, of corporations, of business entities, and then pull each, each industry 
pull out each individual business from that industry and send them to everybody individually, right? Blue and Q was like, come on, G, man. Can we just get started? That's <laughs> okay. All right, fine. <laughs> fine, right? So I gave them four industries to work with. That started the beginning of making my life even easier than it was in the first place. Because now when I send you the videos, it shows you clearly in the video what four industries you need to start with. And don't skip around. Start from the top. Exhaust that industry completely. Go to the next one. Because by the time you get done with the first industry, if you don't have a sale, then move to the next industry. Because the key is this. If it took you, all right, let me ask you. Let me ask Blue. If it took you, let's say it took you six months, January, February, March, April, May, June. Let's say it took you to June to get your first customer. And I'm not saying that that's what it is, but let's say it took you to June to get your first uh -huh. customer. And the only thing that makes a person not your customer is this. They have to need at least 500 pallets a week or 500 pallets a month. If they don't have that, it's going to be hard to get the suppliers to give us a price that makes sense because they're going to charge for the delivery. All right. So let's say it takes six months. It won't. But let's just say it takes six months for you to get one sale. And don't forget, folks, everybody on my team is supposed to hit the ground running next week. Of course, blue and Game Game four, baby. Let's go. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Greg, this is not a game. This is not a drill. <laughs> this is not a drill, right? So, so <laughs> I get excited. So, so it let's say it took everybody watching this video right now. Let's say you started working with us. And when you work with me, you also working with EJ. You also working with Blue. You working with Q. You working with Tim. You working with uh Teriel, you're working with Valerie. That's right, Valerie just joined. You're working with uh, Kwame and his wife. Everybody watching this, and his mom and his dad, you're going to be watching all of us, how we do our stuff. And you're going to be picking up ideas here, learning that, hit, hooking up here. Oh, that's how he did it? Oh, great, awesome. What company was it? They got that same company over here. Well, that kind of deal, right? So when you get to that point, let's say six months down the line, Blue, if six months from now, you, you and Q get your first deal, but that first deal is a company that needs 3,000 pallets. They're paying 15 bucks a pallet. We bought them for, for five. You make a deal with them for 14, right? Uh -huh. That's $9 between the two of us, my company and yours, right? So that's $4.50 per pallet that goes to you and Q. $4.50. I have to get my calculator on this one. This is a big one. Hold on. $4.50, 4.5 times 3,000 equals... $13,500. And if they need those pallets every week? 13 bands a week, baby. 13 bands a week. Now, let's break it all the way out. 13,005 times 50 weeks. Because I don't ever do 52 because people take time off sometimes. Right? Companies do. That's 600 and $75,000 a year for one friggin' client. One. 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 Not having to get a new client every day so you can keep a, a, your, your, your job or having to have a new client every day so you can keep the bills paid because every client you got only paying you $20 a piece, like an insurance. If you sell insurance, you need a thousand clients for you, for you to make 10 grand a year. You better come on now. You better come on now. Kwame, come on back on here, man. 
Come on back on here. Where your, where your video? Where your wife? <laughs> where, where, where's my newest business partner at? Where's she at? Here you go. Hold on a second. Uh, she had to step out for a second. I'm going to get her back here in a second. All right. Again. Real quick. If that don't get y'all fired up, yeah, there's something wrong with y'all. There's something <laughs> wrong with y'all right there. Oh, my God. One. One, one deal. One, one deal. 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 One deal. Oh my gosh. Listen, oh my gosh. My my one of my biggest deal to date, they start delivering, Palace start delivering to them the first Monday in January. They wouldn't even give me the whole deal. You guys, if you watch my videos, you've seen me say this, right? You see me say this. My first deal of this size, right? They wouldn't give me all of their business. They only gave me half. I'm making four grand a week. That's two hundred thousand wow. dollars a year for one deal, so I could have stopped half a deal. Half a deal. So you already know I'm gonna get the whole deal. I'm gonna get it, right? So when it's all said and done, folks, I'm gonna say this until I'm blue in the face, which is gonna be hard to do. So, <laughs> so I, I'm gonna say this till I'm blue in the face. There's three ways to make money at least here in the United States. One, trading time for dollars. That's you make X dollars per hour. You're only working nine hours, 10, 11, 12. You can only work so many hours a day before you pass out. You gotta eat, you gotta sleep, right? You gotta, you gotta recreate. You gotta do stuff that makes, makes you have a real life. That's why you see people walking around like zombies in this country because they're working all the time because they know the moment I stop working, my money stops. OK, so when you're trading time for dollars, you have a limited resource. Second, a little bit smarter, but not totally. And that is trading people for dollars to trade people for dollars means you're in a business where you can bring people to do business with you. Right. You can bring people into a business with you. Right. But. You're in a constant state of having to bring in new business. In other words, like a network marketing company, right? Network marketing, MLM, right? Now, not that there's anything wrong with that. I've been in many of them. EJ, you've been in a few of them. But a, a network marketing MLM company, the product is what it is. However, however, the product isn't as relevant as how many people you can bring, right? So if it's a lotion, potion, vitamin, whatever that is, that's secondary to the business. What's primary to the business is how many people can you get to sell it for you, with you, for you? That's MLM, right? Every corporation is pyramidal in nature. In the MLM, the person at the top making all the money, I still don't care how you put it, the person at the top, top, making all the money, and then there's a few people right up here making the next level, and then all these people are broke because 98% of network marketing business is failure, period. And you can blame it on the person all you want to. That's a lie. It's 98% failure because it's built that way. Now, the third one is the one we're all doing. That's trading units for dollars. So in other words, it only took me, it took me a while for this big deal because two of the people I needed to talk to, both of them got COVID at different times. The first person was the, the first person was the actual person I needed to talk to. And the second person was the assistant. So when I finally found out that the person I needed to talk to had COVID and was at home, I called the company again, looking for my guy and he was out. They just got back to work, but they about to pay me and they're paying me for something they're already buying. So in other words, I'm not even selling them anything. I'm doing what my, I, I'm doing my fiduciary responsibility and that is to make sure that these companies save money. Just like progressive insurance, progressive does not sell insurance. Progressive goes to you and tell you I'm gonna to go to them and make them give you the least amount of charge per month for your insurance for the same quality. Can we do some business? Yes, shake hands, get paid progressive. 
That's what we do. When John Walker showed me this, I knew I was on to something. I knew he wasn't crazy. He was on to something. So I just looked at it and said, okay, how can I take this to the next level? Right? Because again, if I'm doing all the calling, I'm doing all the work, I'm setting up with all of this and setting up all of that. There's only so many hours in a day, right? Now I got Blue, EJ, Tim. I got, I got, now I've got with Kwame, let's see, Kwame, his wife, his mom, and his daddy. That's four more. That's 20 people. <laughs> he got the whole fam. He got right? the whole fam, right? The family that works together stays together, right? He got the whole family. So that's 20 people. Those 20 people are all working with me to make themselves rich and to make me rich all at the same time. And it's not like I'm just sitting back saying, y'all do the work because every one of them are partnering with me because I'm going and getting them the price so that they can get paid, right? So it's, it's a no brainer. So guess what happens? Six months after you join, Blue, what do you have to do? What do you contractually have to do within six months? You got to buy that course. Now, why? So you could be, so you could be your own boss. Right. Like you said you wanted us to not be up under you forever and to get the course so we could learn the other stuff that he has to teach as well and to keep moving forward. And that's why we really rocking with you because Anybody at a, any supervisor at a job not gonna tell you, hey, if you do this, I want you to do this and this, so you could be better. Ain't nobody gonna tell you nothing like that, bro. And typically in a business, in in a normal corporate pyramid structure, if a supervisor is trying to get you to be a supervisor, he's doing that because he's getting ready to go up to to uh, upper level management. Mm -hmm. There is nowhere else for me to go. I'm the owner, CEO. There's nowhere for me to go. So the only thing I can do now is eliminate having to call and talk to Blue. All right. So the only way I do that <laughs> is I say, Blue, go get the information. Start the business on your own. I'll show you how to get your corporate structure set up. I'll show you how to get your taxation situation set up. I'll show you how to get your people lined up because I'm learning this as we go. Don't forget, folks. October 1st was the day I got the training. That yep. wasn't but two months ago. And before I even started brokering, I was trying to do it with the call, going and knocking on doors and all, all of that. Luckily, that was in September, when it when, early October, when it wasn't that cold here in Minnesota. Can you imagine right now? It snowed eight inches yesterday here in Minnesota. I would have had to have been up in the morning, driving in the snow in an old pickup truck, trying to pick up some pallets. I ain't saying there's anything wrong with that because it's people making a lot of money doing that. But I'm at home. I got on a sweatshirt and my, and my ABS ink ball cap, but I got on lounge pants, pajama pants and socks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm at home. I don't <laughs> leave home. I've been social distancing for 15 years. <laughs> I ain't worried about it. Anything I need to buy, I buy it online. The only way COVID-19 going to get me is going to have to creep through the windows flying through the air and hit me in the face while I'm watching uh, Judge Judy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way, right? So in six months after joining with me, you have to buy the program. The only way I say you don't have to in six months is if you haven't made a deal. And if you haven't made a deal in six months, you ain't making calls. Hey, Greg, we would have had some deals if we didn't start right when it was Christmas time. Like, because we know. started the week before Christmas. So we got to, you already know what we got going on. So, you know, Jane Ray Fourth is up there. So <laughs> we just be impatient because we already know what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, we got some deals coming up. So um, I just want to tell the world, you know, Jane Ray Fourth, most, most businesses, if not all, all the bosses, all the people that we need to talk to for as far as pallets. They back in business January 4th. So y'all got some time, chill, get your thoughts together and time to tear them phones down on Monday, man. And let me tell you something. I talked to I talked to my guy, Todd, this morning. No, the morning, last night. And I told Todd, I said, Todd, listen, I tell people up front, 
You start calling at eight. You stop calling at 11. You set a timer. You start back calling at two and you stop calling at four. Now, if you have a lifestyle that lends that you sleep till noon, then stay your ass in the bed until noon. Get up, start calling at two. Because I don't care what time you call, somebody's going to answer the phone. And as soon as you tell them why you are there, they are going to talk to you. They are going to talk to you. Why? Because it ain't just some random person at home trying to sell them some insurance or something. Or trying to sell them some some uh, uh, something to go on their roof or uh, siding or windows. Nah, because you're not selling. You're calling and you're saying, listen, I know I can save your company money. The moment you say that, their ears perk up. Mm -hmm. Right? I know I can save your company money. I just need to know exactly how much. And the only way I can know how to do that is if you answer a couple of questions. And then what do you say right after that, Blue? Um, you got time, you got a couple minutes to answer these questions. <laughs> Once they say that, <laughs> hey, it's over with. You get right to it. <laughs> You got a couple minutes and bro, like you said, they have to answer the phone because they don't know who go be on that other line. So that's the other beauty. You ain't got to worry about nobody not answering. The only some problems we might have is, OK, you need to transfer to the manager. They not in the warehouse right now. Call back in 20 minutes. Right. That's the most we get. Other than that's that, it. I'm talking to who I need to talk to. Simple. Every time. Y'all ain't and trying like to said, hear you said, soon you say I can help you save money. It get dead silent. They, they, they <laughs> listen. You hear me? It's super quiet. You hear a pin drop. So it's like, yup, game time. I got you. Game time. <laughs> got him. <laughs> hey, great. Wait till Monday, bro. That's all I'm gonna say. They think it's a game, bro. Wait till Monday, bro. Watch this. <laughs> Watch this, bro. <laughs> and see, here's a here's a funny part. Here's a funny part. What what people don't understand is they think they try to make everything difficult and it really ain't, it's so simple. Kwame, are you ready yet, man? Let me get you unmuted. Jacqueline, you better have it together. Come on here. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> I talk like I've known over 10 years old. <laughs> Come on, family. There we go. That she is. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing good, family. Look at y'all. Look at that family over there. About to be rich. <laughs> Sir, what's up, fam? Nice to meet y'all, man. Nice to meet you. Listen, mm -hmm. man, I don't think y'all... See, Kwame, I don't think you realize what you did for me today, man. I don't think you realize it. Blue, I told him. I told him on the phone before we set this meeting up. I said, I'm making it my personal business. I'm making it my personal quest to make sure that whatever y'all see as successful financially, I can't fix your personal life. I can't fix your, your nothing else, right? Mm -hmm. But what I can do is put you in a position and in front of money. And all you gotta do is just hold your hands out like this hell to do that, right? Or if you're standing by a creek and the water's just running by, and you say, oh, I'm thirsty. I show would like me a big glass of that water, right? All I can do is say, <laughs> <laughs> There it is. You can do. I can't make hold on, it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Let me get my water right here. Yeah, drink it up. Because <laughs> again, this right here, this right here is the bucket. Mm -hmm. And all you got to do is scoop. As much as you can get in that bucket, you just drink. And the funny part about it is once you get that scoop in the water, you can drink forever. Because mm -hmm. as long as there are companies in the world, there are going to be wooden pallets. They won't go plastic because plastic is made out of petroleum. They will not be wasting petroleum on plastic. Now, some people will say, well, hey, you're destroying the trees. No, dumbass. The trees are farmed specifically to make pallets. Mm -hmm. If you ever go out in the country, there's big old 
20, 30, 40 acres of land with nothing on them but pine trees. They didn't come out the ground naturally. They were planted for the purpose of milling them into wood, and, and not wood, but milling that wood into planks of different sizes to make pallets. And if you got a problem with that, I better not see your ass eating no Popeye's chicken because they, <laughs> they, they because they mill they mill chickens so that you can eat them. The, the only chickens in the wild are in Hawaii. And the mm -hmm. only reason why they're in the wild is because a few, like 40, 50 years ago, a hurricane hit Hawaii and, and knocked over a chicken farm in Kauai. They knocked over a chicken farm and all the feral chickens made it with the wild, with, with the, uh, um, um, uh, the farm chickens. Yeah, the farm chickens. And now Kauai is overrun with big old fat chickens walking around all in the trees like pigeons. Oh, wow. Last time I was in Kauai, I said, I know it ain't no brothers living here. Ain't no brothers living here. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got the chickens are go home. Oh, it's against the law to kill them. Oh, damn. Because you can't tell which one is the farm chicken and which one is the real chicken that's, that, that's that part of their ecosystem. So they don't let you okay. just kill them. I said, man, what, y'all got pet chickens around here? <laughs> okay, all right. all right. Next, let me know when I see a pet biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> y'all know I'm crazy, man. Y'all know I'm crazy. Listen, okay, now, Jacqueline, right? That's your first name, right? Yes, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, tell me from your perspective, from your perspective, what 2019 was and how you view 2021 going forward with, with the information you currently have? Uh, 2019? 2020, I think. Oh, okay, 2020, okay. Yeah. 2020, um, it started out like a rough year, uh, working warehouse jobs, obviously. That wasn't for me, because I would see, you know, give them suggestions, but nothing would really get done. Let's cut you, 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 you a business owner. You, you, you're you trying to force yourself to be a worker. <laughs> yeah, and, that's what, yeah. and that's what I've come to realize. So just going forward, um, just really want to take on this information. Uh, just really want to help my husband move forward. And also, I'm in school as well, so um, hopefully bringing my technological skills to our business as well, and that would benefit us. So. Ooh, she said to our business. Did y'all hear that? Who on here watching this? Anybody watching this video? I want you to understand <laughs> something. This brother got a queen with him. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's, like, it's like chess, right? Really? It's a chess board. If you know anything about chess, you know the queen is the most powerful piece on that board. Oh, you can't have a game without the king. Don't get me twisted. But the queen is the one that can do the most, move the most. She can see the most because she's the tallest one on the, the delegation. <laughs> and she delegating. I'm telling you, if y'all ain't doing this, y'all, something wrong with y'all folks out here watching this. Don't just watch this for entertainment. Call me 612 888 7807. Call me right now. Just like an old uh, used car dealership. Come on. <laughs> 612 No, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let EJ do it. EJ, <laughs> EJ got that southern accent, man. He can do it just like an old used car dealer. EJ, oh, come no. on, man. <laughs> come on, EJ. Tell them how they what they need to do. <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. EJ sleeping or something, but EJ probably driving all night last night. He's the same EJ right now. I had to call him at one o'clock, two o'clock in the afternoon. He's been driving all night. But <laughs> but but again, here's what I need y'all to understand, people out here in, in, in YouTube world. Understand something. What we're doing here, we're we're seeking to change lives. And it's not just me. Like I said, when you come work with us two things are gonna happen. You're gonna get the benefit of all of our help. That's first. Secondly, within six months, whether you like it or not, you're gonna have John Wilkins program, which in turn teaches you all of what I know so that all I'm doing is creating more of me, right? So in other words, a leader is not a true leader unless he is creating other leaders. Come on church, right? Amen. So 
So, yeah. so that's where we are. And I, everybody that's on this team, I handpicked them. It's not like I just bring in everybody and, and whoever just throw them against the wall and they stick, they, they stick. If they don't, they don't. No. If you're on this team, I handpicked you based on one or two things, how you talk on the phone and your story. Because all I need is both. It ain't a lot. I ain't asking for a lot. I'm asking for the King's English and a good story. Hey, can I tell them something real quick, Greg? Tell them, Blue. Go on, tell them, man. Hey, just a di quick disclaimer. When y'all call Greg, that's y'all interview. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> and and, and you, take, you control it after that. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> now, check it out. Anybody watching this, Right now, especially if you're from Chicago, if you're watching this, listen to Blue. Blue got that street all over him. He can't hardly shake it off of him. But I, I, I defy you to listen to him when he's talking to a business. Man, look, switch it up so quick. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Mr. Johnson? This crow said it from ABS Inc. <laughs> you know then I got to give him my real name. See them? They don't know, Greg. They don't know, Greg. <laughs> just like the rich people, bro. Bro, just play exactly. the role. Play the role. Because I'm going to tell you something else. Everybody watching this, EJ can attest to this too. When I first heard EJ's voice, I fell in love with him because he's from the South. I love everybody from the South. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. I grew up in that dirty, right? I love his accent. His accent kills. But when EJ is talking business, he don't turn it down. He turns it up. Why does he turn it up? Because if you think about every president of the United States who's ever been beloved by his, both sides, he always got some little Southern thing going like George W. Bush and Bill Clinton and George H. W. Bush. And even Reagan had a way to turn his little thing to go a little Southern, a little folksy. People like that because it makes them feel comfortable. When I first talked to EJ, I was like, man, I got to figure out some kind of way to work with this brother because he is his voice is a million dollars. I got to figure out a way to make a million dollars with EJ Coleman because his voice is just kills. And again, guys, you you God, I can talk about this all day, man. But listen, first of all, Jacqueline Kwame, the, the Callum Kingdom, I want y'all to understand something. Again, I have made this my quest to get y'all where y'all want to be as soon as humanly possible. You ain't got to do a lot of work. Technically, you really don't ever have to leave home. The most you would have to do if you had to leave home was if a client says, I don't have an email with the with the with all the information for how much we pay. I know how much we pay, but I don't have an invoice that I can email you. I get it through paper, right? Then you say, okay, no problem. Then you drive over there and you get the you get the information. You write down the sizes, you take pictures of the palace they have, so that when we go, so when you send that to me, I go get you the deal. It's so simple, man. It's so simple. Ooh, I can't wait till Monday, bro. Ooh, we. Ooh, we. Ooh, we. Mm. And Blue, how long you been doing this? I started in October, so I know it ain't been that long. How long you been doing this with me? The week before Christmas. So, what? Two weeks. <laughs> and really, like, all last week after Wednesday, we really ain't been doing them because, like, all the businesses we was going to before, the week before Christmas, they was like, either they go be gone starting the week of Christmas and be out for two weeks, or they was like, they was working all the way up to that Wednesday, and then they off Thursday, Friday. Right. So me and bro, every day, we just got up, took action, and just hitting businesses, bro. Them four names that you gave, went through that list and just started pulling up on people, bro. So... We've been on this call for almost an hour, maybe a little more than an hour. I don't know. But I Try said, one more thing. Yeah, come on, EJ, wake up, man. This ain't the EJ I love. Come on, man. You sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, here's the thing. Wait, wait, first of all, <laughs> first of all <laughs> wait, no, first of all, where you at? Where you at, EJ? Welcome, where you at? welcome Kwame. That's all. I am in Laurel, Mississippi. Hey. Sitting in the truck. Yeah. Can y'all see me? 
Yeah. Put video on. Yeah. So um, the reason why that I can't spit your number out is because I've got you on speed dial, so I don't remember your number, <laughs> and I've got you. All I got to do is hit Brother G, and we on. So, but give you a quick rundown. You see what 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 my sleeper looks like. That's what I live in, and see that's I just pulled the curtains open. Well, that one is still closed. So anyway, um, the. Uh, People, if y'all can't see this, there's something wrong. I, I mean, literally, uh, this is the easiest. <laughs> I mean, he, he said it. The, the, the plan itself, it, it's in its name. The easiest business ever. I mean, it's just the simple business. It, it's just unreal. And I can't wait to get out of this truck. So welcome to y'all two or y'all four your whole family i got teary-eyed when you're talking about 20 minutes <laughs> uh, time for y'all uh, um I, i'm going to keep y'all in my prayers i know you said you're spiritually i am too man to, to the core uh, i i know the lord as my personal savior since december the 26th 1999 a year after my dad passed away so um I'm right there with you, and we're going to grow this. We're going to be able to be like Brother Greg here. We are going to, in six months, we're going to be like, what? Forget about 2019. Forget about 2020. We're going to roll with 2021, and we're going to be right there, on the top when we finish. Love y'all. God bless you. Blue, good luck, man. Y'all and Q kill it up there in Chicago, in Chi-Town. And yes, uh, I hope y'all had a Merry Christmas, and I'm out. Hey, that's you. my boy. That's my boy, EJ Coleman. Now, he, and again, he's still, you can tell he's a little sleepy because typically he'd be bouncing off the walls in that truck. <laughs> but, yeah, he usually be on 10 more than I do. So, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. so again, Kwame, I wanted to make sure it wasn't just you and me and Jacqueline. I wanted to make sure that you got a little bit. And Tim's been sitting back in the back watching the whole time, too. I, I wanted to just give you the energy of what we're about over here, right? And when I say over here, it make it sound like it's one particular place, like you got to drive to a warehouse or something. No, this is all sitting at home talking, right? Or in a car or in a truck, big ass truck, right? So the 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 essence of where I'm coming with this, because I don't have to sell you. You were sold when you watched the video last night, whenever you watched it. I just want to, I just wanted to solidifying your mind. Cause I know how, how it was when I first decided I was gonna do this with my wife, right? I told my wife, I'm doing this. She said, I don't have, cause I wasn't working. I'm a musician, I wasn't making no money. She said, I would love to help, but I ain't got $2,000 to just give you cause how are we gonna pay the mortgage next month, right? So I went out and hustled, got my hustle on, right? Got that money, got it to John, Started training, messed around, tried to get a truck, found a good truck. Because this is when I was going to be driving and picking up pallets. Found a good truck, couldn't get it. The credit wasn't good enough to get it without paying down payment. I ain't putting no down payment on no vehicle, let alone no old ragged ass truck. Right? I ain't doing it. So couldn't get a truck. I called John and said, John, man, my credit was bad. I couldn't get the truck. He said, don't worry about it, G. Just keep on studying. He knew as soon as I got the broker and he knew I was going to shut the camp down. It was going to be a whole nother deal. He knew it from the gate. He knew it from the gate. And as soon as I got to just reading and studying about brokering, he was like, uh-huh, what you learned? What you learned was if I had known this part when I first started 22 years ago, I would have never bought a truck. He said, you can throw everything away now. So think about this, guys. Pretty soon, every one of y'all going to have your own teams your own team. And that team is going to be all over the place. And I don't care if Kwame, you start a team and you got 10 people in Chicago, it ain't nothing you can do to stop Blue or Q's money. Because it's so much business. It's so much business. And then again, you say your mom speaks Spanish? Bro, come on, man. I mean, in California alone, you can make a billion dollars. Just by your mom on the phone, you'd be like, Ma, I need you to call him. She was like, Leave me alone. You keep bugging me. <laughs> I can't even speak to this. Nigeria, 
Nigeria, right? Right. I've been speaking. I've been speaking. I've been speaking Spanish and Nigerian so much I can't remember English. I'm done <laughs> talking to y'all. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see me, call me on my jet. <laughs> I mean, Pretty much. <laughs> again, again, guys, it's all it's all love, right? and I'm just I'm just excited. I'm happy to be a part of the plan that's going to take y'all where y'all want to go. And I don't care where you want to go. It's two grand a month. We can get you that just like that. If your plan is two grand a week, we can get you that just like that. If your plan is two grand a day, we can get you that just like that. Two grand a minute, just like that. Why? Because it don't matter how long you work. It's about how many units you sold. It might be one business in, in the Atlanta, Georgia area right now. And again, if you watch my videos, you know, you don't have to do business in Atlanta. You can do business anywhere in the country and anywhere in the world. So again, when you look at the numbers, say in your mind, how much money do I have to make in order to feel like I have arrived? How much money do I have to make so that I can put X amount away as wealth creation so I can build a trust that I can build and buy land and all that kind of stuff? How much is that required of me in order to do that? And if that number is a million dollars a day, then all you got to do is calculate how many pallets do I have to sell and how much in order to equal $1 million a day? Because the same amount of calls get made regardless. <clears throat> it's just finding those needles in the haystack that, that sell it, that buy enough pallets that are willing to save some money doing it. That's all it takes. So again, thank you very much to Blue. Thank you, EJ. Thanks for Tim sitting back in the back chilling. Uh, thank you, Kwame and Jacqueline. Do you guys got any kids? No, sir, not yet. Not yet? Oh, man! Gang, I, have kids. <laughs> I got a three-year-old. If anybody watching this, you can see me say it. I got a three-year-old. I'm 60 years old. I had my kid when it was 57, right? My first child, three-year-old, right? The only child I have, three-year-old. I don't know how I got lucky. It was luck for sure. But um, <laughs> being a professional musician my whole life touring the world, yeah, it was nothing but luck. All right, so so I got my first child, three. But I feel that pressure. I already felt pressure of being able to make enough money for me and my wife in the back of my head. Now that pressure is up here in the front because I got a three-year-old. Because I already know that by the time he's turned 16, 17 years old, if he don't ever break his leg, if he don't ever come down with any, any debilitating disease, if he don't ever get no girl pregnant, if he don't ever drive his car into a mailbox, if he don't ever break a window out of somebody's house, if he don't ever do any of that, he's still going to cost me a million dollars. So I got some money to make. So with yep. that said, you guys got no kids. You're just children yourself. How old are you, Kwame? I just turned 29 in August. Ah! <laughs> I, <ain't seen> <laughs> hey, I got, hey man, let me look at my hold on. I'm in my I'm in my oh, I probably got some Chuck Taylors in here that's 29 years old. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I got some I got some Chucks that's 29 years old. Black low tops, right? <laughs> so again, you guys have the whole world in head of you. Man. Because when it's just two of y'all, you could be sleeping in a car in a cardboard box downtown and you can make it work. But once you bring a child in it, that kid got to eat every day and every day he getting bigger and bigger. So you got to buy some new clothes. You got to do something. Right. So, again, y'all so lucky, man. Y'all married with no children. Oh, my God. Come on. Let's get this bread. Let's get this bread. All right. So, again, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you very much for coming on. And I'm uh, so when we get off here, call me back. I'm gonna tell you what you need to do, what you need to send me, because you're gonna have to fill out two forms. I'm gonna send them through DocuSign. That's why I got DocuSign now, Blue. Is is making it a lot easier. So <laughs> yes, sir. You fill out these forms, yes, send them back to me. I'm gonna send you a list of videos, and if you have any questions, call me, and we can we can role play. Anybody on the team knows they can call me and set up a time, and we can role play. And role playing mean I'm gonna be the owner of the company. And you're going to pitch me your services because you're not selling nothing. Forget talking about, well, I don't like sales. You ain't gonna, I don't like them either. That's why I don't do them. So, so that's what we're doing. And again, this is the simplest biz ever, period, point blank and period, right? So with that being said, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close this video out. And I want everybody to understand one key component here.
the world that we live in is designed for you to win. Only you can make the decision to go get it. And this is the simplest biz ever to go get it. If you need to holler at me, call 612-888-7807. Leave me a message. And just like Blue said, that's your interview. That's your interview. Now, I'm gonna get out of here. I just had to make this video. I know it's been a little long, but I want you guys to watch it. Everybody watching this on YouTube, watch this over and over again. Because if this don't inspire you to get going, I don't care if you get going with me or not. If this doesn't inspire you to change your life in 2021, I don't know what's going to do it. I don't know what's going to do it. You, you like being in your situation, clearly. So with that said, I'm G. These are my cats, right? And um, we're going to get, we're going to keep, keep it popping. 2021, I'll be making videos all the time so you can see what we do. Make it real simple for you, all right? And, uh, and I'm going to get out of here. And as always in parting, I wish you love and I wish you peace.